Welcome MS Translators. I hope you're having a good weekend. It's quite early on a Saturday morning here in Melbourne, Australia, uh, but I wanted to record a quick paper summary video to update you on a, on a publication that's come out really recently. I, I read it this morning uh, and I'm very excited about it and I wanted to share it with you as soon as possible, so I thought I'd record this video. So this is the, the paper in question. Um, titled Metformin Restores CNS Remyelination Capacity by Rejuvenating Aged Stem Cells. Now the title itself may not mean too much but you can probably see that there's some important topics in there already. Remyelination we know is something that people are obviously really interested in and obviously the, the stem cell topic uh, is really interesting as well although we're not going to touch too much on how stem cells are involved uh, at the moment. One of the reasons why I'm excited about this publication uh, is that what you can see here, uh, Robin Franklin was the, the lead author on this paper, uh, and Robin Franklin is one of the, the leaders in the remyelination field working out of Cambridge uh, in the UK. So if we get into what this paper showed, now this is the, the graphical abstract that they used in the paper, which was published in Cell Stem Cell, uh, which is a very good uh, medical journal. Essentially what we're looking at here is how do we improve remyelination, but more importantly, how do we uh, take the cells that are important for remyelination and make them better at doing it in, in people with multiple sclerosis. So what we can see here if we focus on this right hand side of the screen to begin with is, is this is what we're looking at mostly um, in terms of people with MS is that we have these aged oligodendrocyte progenitor cells, these OPCs. Now, these OPCs are the cells that are responsible for, for differentiating and helping to produce myelin. So important in terms of when we're thinking about if we have a lesion, being able to repair that damage. But what happens with these aged OPCs is that this repair mechanism doesn't work. So they're um, resistant to the signals that generally tell them, hey, we need you to we need you to mature, we need you to go and, and do this repair job. And it's obviously really important that we recognize that in terms of uh, when we're trying to develop treatments for this, that just giving them the signals may not necessarily uh, lead to the sort of benefits they were hoping for uh, if they don't uh, respond to those signals anyway. What we can see is on the, uh, the left hand side of the screen here um, is that when we have young OPCs, um, their cells are in a younger fashion, they're much more capable of differentiating or, or turning into these oligodendrocytes, which leads to much better remyelination and myelin repair. So essentially what this study was looking at is how can we reverse that process uh, of aging in these cells, and if we can do that, does it lead to, to better myelin repair? And so they looked at two ways of doing that. So the first one was looking at fasting. So fasting is actually one of the best known methods um, in terms of what's been studied so far for altering this aging process. So the scientists first asked the question, could fasting therefore reverse the potential um, of these old OPCs that we talked about? So to do that, this was an animal study. They took rats um, and they had two groups of rats, one that were able to feed uh, whenever they wanted to and others that were subjected to alternate day fasting, so fasting every other day. And what they saw, now they looked into lots of things and I'm just going to keep this brief, but as always if you have questions or want to know more, please do ask them in the comment section below. But what they saw was that the rats in the fasting group um, showed almost complete remyelination of a lesion. So they induced um, demyelination in these rats and then compared their ability to repair uh, the damage to that myelin. While the group that could eat whenever they wanted showed tiny little bits of repair just around the outside of the lesion, the fasting group actually showed much better remyelination capacity and had almost complete um, repair of that lesion. So that's obviously a, a really exciting result. They then went on to see whether or not um, they could use a drug to get the same sort of effects. And so metformin, 
um, is a drug that's used commonly in type 2 diabetes um, and essentially it mimics that, that fasting process or mimics the effects of fasting. And so logically they thought to themselves could this drug then have the same effects um, on remyelination that they saw uh, in the rats that had done fasting. And, excitingly, um, they did see the same results. So the, the rats treated with the, the metformin showed a very similar remyelination pattern to those that had fasted, and again, much better uh, than the control group. So in this case, rats that hadn't been treated with metformin. So if we go back to that diagram that we have here on the, on the left of the screen, what they've seen is we have these bad results with aging, but this aging process can be reversed almost in terms of these cells that we're interested in um, through both um, the use of a drug called metformin or through um, dietary process through fasting and that then uh, takes those cells back to a capacity where they're much better at being able to repair myelin. So in summary what does this mean? Well obviously as we, we talk about a lot um, these are animal studies so it's very early days um, and that they're going to need to be replicated in terms of human trials and, and that's a, a lengthy process but just a, a quote here from from Robin Franklin in terms of um, this study uh, that was reported in another article online as he says it's always a leap in the dark when you go from lab experiments to humans and so that's what we we've just said um, but in his in his mind the data is as strong and as compelling as it is ever likely to get I'm very optimistic that this is going to work so really exciting um, work in a field that we know is hugely important in terms of remyelination and myelin repair. Um, we'll keep following this, we'll keep providing updates. As always, if you do have questions or want to know more, please just comment below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. I hope you're ex as excited about this work as I am. I think it's, it's really fascinating and I can't wait to see where it goes. Thanks everyone.